Commander, the Appalachians have been sending us vital intel from their battles against these, uh, Zettans. While we appear to have the success quelling pockets of these ETs, they appear to just reanimate. At this rate, Commander, if we don't run out of fighters, we will run out of ammunition. We need to radically rethink our strategy. What exactly are you suggesting, Doctor? I want you to keep an open mind, Commander. Are you familiar with the film War on Worlds? pre-war film about invading aliens who eventually succumb to the common cold. Yeah, I know it. Are you saying we should sneeze on them and hope for the best? <laughs> no, Commander, of course not. But at the same time, yeah. I propose we inject them with a virus. Okay, so biological warfare. Makes sense. How do you propose we deliver the virus? Syringe guns? No, sir. The density of Zetan skin would be impossible to ensure proper penetration depth. I'm thinking specially made bullets. So bullets laced with the cold virus. <laughs> how very poison dart of you. My next and more important question, though. How do you propose we, pardon the pun, catch enough cold virus? <clears throat> well, Commander, that's where things are a bit more complicated. Yeah, I figured as much. Well, go on. Give the bad news. So let me get this straight. You're telling me you want to use the FEV virus. Are you serious? Commander, we know the FEV is capable of changing the DNA and RNA structure of a cell. So much so that its instability created a myriad of mutations, least of which include super mutants. Exactly my point. You want to take the aliens and potentially make them mutants? Stronger? Commander, based on the studies of the Zettans so far, one thing we know for sure is that they are not from Earth, nor do they contain similar DNA signatures. From what we can determine as well, Zettans are not successful at radiation, having a sort of resistance. Yeah, I'm listening. Subjects that were injected with FEV who were not exposed to radiation first experienced massive organ failure and extremely painful deaths. If Zetans are immune to radiation, that would mean potentially that they are perfect fit for Mariposa's mortality component. So let me see if I understand you, Doc. The Zetans' perceived strength of rad resistance is the very thing that will cause the virus to kill them? In theory, yes, but there is no guarantee. Give me some percentages to work with. Based on what little information I have, I would say about a 60% chance of success. Doc, that's good enough for me. At current attrition levels, we won't hold on another month. Tell me what we need to do. 